the wonderful, beautiful morning podcast. I'm not normally in the clip when I say that. I normally just looking at the dogs, but Jamie and I couldn't not get this. Yeah, I'm looking at them girls. She's on me. She's on her. <laughs> and Shelby's down there. Yeah, Shelby's. Shelby looks comfy too, though. She does. We'll fully admit that uh, it's 11:30 and we haven't left the hotel yet because we didn't have to. <laughs> right, short, short trips today. We're staying at this hotel again tonight, so it was kind of nice to just chill out. We washed clothes last night. We'll do. That was nice. Yeah, that was really nice. We're literally just doing a short little trip out and back here again tonight, and then I'm gonna hopefully get ahead on editing today. That'll make it nice too. The dogs are kind of just enjoying a chill day. <laughs> I can't tell. Yep. Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> That's adorable. That's adorable. Okay. I, it's all adorable. I think it's I think it's cute that Kira's laying on Memphis and Memphis is laying on you. <laughs> and your Memphis is laying on your leg and yep. Kira's laying on Memphis's leg. So I, that's pretty funny. <laughs> all right. So we're ready to go. All right. I'll say it again. Go for a ride. And I got two eyes. Oh, there's one. Hey, go for a ride. Go for a ride. She'll learn. You'll you'll learn what that's, that means. That's his ears and, and I'll go. Hi. Yeah. Go for a ride? You you like going for rides. Go for a ride in a car. Mm -hmm. Do you like going for rides? Shelby's like, I'm not even getting up. Probably teasing everybody's dog at home. And <laughs> we're up. Do I just stretch? Nope. Just shake. Huh? We're up and we're moving. Okay. All right. We're up. We're moving. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. And then the day turned to shit. Yep. I'm leaving that in. I don't care. Yep. Changed real quick. Yep. We're at the ER vet with Kira because apparently she, we think she ate something. She's all lethargic and not feeling good. So we're at the ER vet with Kira. They got her in the back doing blood work. Yay. Hi, girls. We'll update you guys in a moment. And we're back. Look what Kira has, guys. You got a little wrap on your leg. She's like, guys, don't. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah, so this little one decided to scare the heck out of us today. And we had to make a trip to the emergency vet. Wasn't it? Wasn't that fun, Kara? Wasn't that fun? She's like, guys, I'm super sleepy and full of fluids. Full of fluids. You sure are. And Jamie's asleep, too. I think it exhausted him. He's out. Are you awake? No, he's out. <laughs> uh, Miss Memphis is over here. What are you doing, Miss Memphis? Huh? What are you doing? You sleepy too? Yeah, so we were getting ready to leave for the day. The plan for today, we were gonna go out and head out to the coast and stop and see a few things because we're actually at this hotel again tonight. So of any of the places that this could happen, this was the best possible place for it to happen. Right when we were getting to, ready to leave, Kira had gotten under the bed, under the, like, behind the bed, and gotten into something. She did that a little bit earlier in the day, and uh, she had a pistachio shell that we got from her. We don't know if what she got was gotten from under the bed, or if she grabbed something on the sidewalk outside. We don't actually know. Um, I'm pretty sure she got it from under the bed, but not 100% sure. Anyway, um, we were starting to get ready to go. We didn't know she had gotten something under the bed and all the dogs were snuggling on the couch with me and we went to get up and she didn't want to get up. So we stood her up and when she stood, we thought maybe she was tired because she'd just been playing really hard with Memphis. And we stood her up and she decided that she was just gonna lay down. And then we stood her up again and she was wobbly. So we immediately uh, called the vet, which I had actually looked up vets in the area before we got here. You guys know me. I do that stuff all the time. I knew there was one only literally one mile away, but I did not know that it was closed today. So I called the next one closest, and they didn't do emergencies, but they gave me the number of the closest emergency one to us. They were super nice. We took her into the emergency vet. The doctor was not really even concerned. His first question was, has she thrown up at all? And I'm like, nope, she hasn't thrown up. Everything else has been good. Oh, yeah, you stretch. Stretch, old girl, he's stretch. So, yeah, he's, uh, I told him, I'm like, she hasn't thrown up. She just seems really sleepy. And uh, he wasn't super concerned, but they wanted to keep her for quite a few hours. So basically what they did, 
because she was already sleepy, they think that whatever she got into had already been like ingested um, and absorbed. So they decided to pump her full of fluids to kind of dilute whatever was in her body and flush it out. So he said for the next probably 12 hours or so, she'll probably be pretty tired, but they did a blood test, did full blood work. She had an IV, which is why she's got the cute little, what even is this? Is this like tiger striped? It's like tiger striped. We get to take that off pretty soon. You can actually see if you look here where she's all bumped up, that's all fluid that they gave her. They gave her IV fluid, plus they gave her fluid under her skin there. So she, yeah, she's pretty exhausted now. So she literally scared the heck out of us. That was fun, but they say she's gonna be fine. We have a 10 hour drive tomorrow. I told the vet that I'm like, we can stay here another day. We can do whatever we need to do, whatever is best for her. And he, he goes, she'll travel real good tomorrow. She'll probably still be pretty tired tomorrow too. So she'll travel real good for you guys. And I don't think you should stay. So apparently we're gonna continue on to Montana tomorrow. What do you think, huh? You're so sleepy. She's like, guys, I'm so sleepy. So sleepy. Ah, <sighs> So yeah, that was how our day has gone today. Jamie's taking a nap. Dogs are taking a nap. I'm gonna get a little bit of editing done while everybody's sleeping. And then eventually, we're gonna have to figure out something for dinner. Dang puppies. Proof that even when you check everything, they can still get into stuff. You always got to keep an eye on them. And sometimes, sometimes accidents still happen. Say, we're human too. You guys are so cute right now though. Look at you're so cute. All right, you get your puppy sleep in. I'm going to take this off of you. Can I take this off of you? Do you mind? She's like, I don't mind. Take it off. <laughs> The vet showed me a really cute video of her running around playing right before he called us. He's like, she goes from really, really happy and excited to a little bit tired, so she'll probably sleep. Thanks for scaring us, Kira. We really didn't need that today, but, you know, thanks for that anyway. Oh no, I took it off. You got a little shaved puppy leg. You got a little shaved puppy leg. You're too cute. Alright, get some sleep. So if you guys are wondering how she's feeling, this is what, two hours after we got back from the vet's office? Yeah, about that. And she's already like, Memphis, let's do the things. Come this way. Pretty much back to normal. I still see the fluid in your shoulder. It's kind of funny looking. <laughs> you still have a fluid bubble, but she's definitely feeling quite a bit better. You feeling better? Yeah, thanks for scaring us. We don't appreciate it. <laughs> But I am glad you're feeling better. Oh, she jumped up there. Can you get up there? And she's off. And she's back. Oh, oh, oh. That was, that was a, oh, 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 oh. That was a fail jump number two. That was not a very good jump. <laughs> resilient. The resilient puppy. <sighs> well, that makes me feel better. Memphis. All right, I better take you all outside and feed you dinner. <laughs> Are you glad she's back to feeling better? Ah, she wouldn't play with you earlier, would she? She's like, she'll play with me now. I'll play with her now. Gee, you look back to normal to me, considering you're already wrestling with Memphis again. You're just a going, aren't you? Yep, look at her. She's like, I, I feel ten times better, guys. Thanks for the scare today, Kira. We we appreciated it. And the vet bill. Thanks for the vet bill. Woo, clacking teeth. Look at you go. Yeah, let's not get another vet bill, guys. Yeah, not another vet bill. They're playing. Memphis is like, ooh. Yeah? What else? What else? You tell her all the stories. Tell her all the stories. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you feel better. Oh my goodness. So today was eventful. It was uneventful because we didn't really go do anything, but it was eventful because 
you had to go and make everything super crazy. She's doing, literally doing 100% better already. I mean, she was playing with Memphis, she was playing with Shelby, we've already been out walking, and it's, she's doing so much better. I think we caught it so quick, they were able to flush it out of her system really quick. Um, I, I mean, within minutes, we knew what was going on, and we had her to the vet within minutes, and whew, what a day. What a day. Look at, the, look at these girls. I love you girls so much. So glad today ended up not super crazy, but it was super crazy. <laughs> Alright guys, so after a really, really crazy day and a scare with the little husky puppy, we were calling it a night and going to bed. We need to get some sleep because we have a 10 hour drive tomorrow. I told the doctor that when uh, we took Kira in, or when I went to pick her up, and he goes, oh, she'll sleep real good. <laughs> like, so he didn't seem too worried about it. She's been playing, she's been doing real good. She's already pretty much back to herself. Thanks for scaring us, puppy. We're gonna go ahead and, <laughs> Shelby's blap. Apparently you girls get this bed tonight. Well, good, you guys can share this bed and daddy and I'll share the other bed. I know that's not really going to happen. As soon as one of us gets in bed, they're all going to move. But we're going to call it a night. We hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed today's video or something. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. We will see you again soon. Good night, audience. What a day. <laughs> uh. Chaos when you're 2,500 miles away from home is like mass chaos. Thanks, puppy. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs and join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs.